I'm Thomas Smith, and if you're afraid of spiders, you might want to look away now. Um, that's because this giant, the Joro spider, it's spelled J-O-R-O, -O, is apparently coming to the United States. Um, these spiders originated in Japan, where they're fairly prominent. They actually factor into Japanese folklore, and they've started to be observed in the United States. So far, um, they've been seen more in the South, um, in the Carolinas, for example, and in Georgia. However, scientists expect that the Joro spider will likely spread across the American East Coast and possibly to the West Coast as well, just based on the way that the climate here works versus the climate in Japan. So this is considered an invasive species. Um, they're huge. They're about the size of uh, the middle part of a person's hand. Um, like all spiders, they do have venom, although uh, they're very unlikely to bite a person. And if they do, their venom is apparently not as concerning as that of, for example, a brown recluse, which is another um, spider that people sometimes do encounter. Uh, these spiders are known for weaving very large webs. So if you live in one of those states, you might see one of these outside in your backyard. Um, their webs can be up to three meters, so it's about nine feet deep. Um, and uh, if you do see one, you, know, you don't necessarily need to be concerned about it. Um, there's some evidence that they might actually eat other invasive species, which would be kind of a net positive thing, but it certainly might freak you out if you walk out and see one of these giant uh, Joro spiders in your yard. Um, so do expect that these are likely to spread now that they're here in America. Um, you might encounter them uh, at first on the East Coast, and certainly uh, it's possible that they could make it out West as well. Um, so another thing to add to your nightmares if you are afraid of spiders, the Joro spider, J-O-R-O. -O. Um, if you found this helpful, Please follow my channel, it really helps.